Hey guys, my name is Hari, and we are back to another amazing video. So, what we are going to talk about in this video is we are going to discuss how many marks should you get in Bitsat 2024 to land one of your favorite branches in Bits Planning campuses. See, you might be thinking ki, like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Some numbers, some arrow marks. So, what, what does this mean? This is what we will be discussing in the next few minutes. So make sure to watch it till the very end so that you get a clear idea of how many marks you should get in Bitsat 2024 so that you can get your desired branch. So make sure don't go anywhere else, make sure to watch the entire video because if you don't understand what I'm going to say, you might misinterpret something and you might think of something else. And before we get to the video, I have a very very important announcement to make. We have an amazing community started for Bitsat 2024 aspirants. We have already gotten more than 150 responses guys. We are increasing the community to 200 people right now. We are capping it at 200 people. We are not going to take more than 200 people. We will be mentoring them. There are so many Bitsians who will come and help you out in Bitsat 2024. So make sure to fill the link in the description as well so that we can add you into the group. So let's just get started. So before 2022, Bitsat was out of 450 marks. And in 2022, what happened was they reduced the total score to 390. So it has caused a lot of confusion. He like, by how is it different? Is the toughness increase? Is the questions lengthier? And should we prepare differently? We'll be discussing about the cutoffs from 2022 and 2023. I talked to so many people from 2022 back to 2023 batch, and I myself graduated in 2023. So I have a complete idea of this. So. What happened in 2022 was the cutoff was significantly less. You see that cutoff for MSc Bio in 2022 was 171. And the cutoff for MSc Bio in 2023 was 212. Which means that there is almost a 40 mark increase. A 40 mark increase in one year. And in similarly you will find that, let's say computer science for example. In Pilani campus you will understand that the cutoff has gone from 320 to 331 which means there's almost 11 mark increase and here there's a 40 mark increase. So the real reasons for the cutoff dropping in 2022 is not known but I think the major factor is because there was an increased fee hike in 2022 but in 2023 the fee there's, a, there's not a hike in the fees as much. So I think that's probably the reason why Bits cutoff went really really high in 2023 as compared to 2022. And in 2023 there was a lot of hubbub about Bitsat and Bitspilani in general, especially on YouTube and other social media platforms where a lot of people like me were creating really really good content about this. And there was an increased awareness about the entrepreneurship culture in Bits as well. So we'll get into the video, we'll discuss the cutoffs, we'll start off from MSE Bio and MSE Eco. So the thing is, there's a dual degree program in BITS. So in BITS what happens is that you can pick up any science major and in your second year, based on your CGP in your first year, you'll be able to take your engineering degree as well. So if you take MSc Bio, even if you had 171 marks in 2022, you would get through. And if you in 2023, you need 212. And similarly, MSc Bio in Goa, you need 164 in 2022 and 204 in 20. And there's a reason why I've taken only two branches, which is MSc Eco and MSc Biology, which is like, because MSc Bio is generally the starting of the dual light branches. Generally, all the colleges, they start off with MSc Bio. If you want to enter into just that college, MSc Bio is the least branch that you can get generally. And Eco is generally the highest one that you can get generally the highest branch that you can get in a dual degree is ECO. So MSc Bio is the lowest and ECO is the highest in terms of the cutoffs. Not like in terms of, it's no status game or something like that, but people are just lying these days. More and more. More and more. Okay, so if you wanted to get into MSc ECO, you see that there's almost a 10 mark gap from 2022 to 2023. And similarly in Goa also it's a 40 mark gap here and there's almost a almost there's an approximate value that I'm choosing here. There's a 40 mark gap. This is an approximate value. It's not because I don't know maths. This is just approximate values. And here is a 9 mark difference. And here is a 16 mark difference, right? 
and you see that on average the cutoffs for MSc Bio has increased a lot. And let's take up some computer science, right? In computer science also there's an 11 mark increase here, and here there is almost a 9 mark increase, and here there is a 5 mark increase. So throughout 2020 to 2023, you see that there's a huge increase when it comes to the cutoffs. This is mainly because people they started preferring bits more because of the flexibility that it offers in terms of the attendance policy and the course structure that you can take in terms of picking whatever courses that you want. And there are more and more people getting into entrepreneurship. Some of the startups they got even featured on Shark Tank and other platforms. So it sort of became cool, I think. And but one disadvantage of being in Bits is that the fees is pretty high. But then if you take someone like me, like I got a decent ROI. I mean, I got I paid close to 16 lakhs in fees and I got very close to like 22 lakhs in, as a package. So here, if you see EC, I took EC in 2019 and 2019 I got 340 out of 450. But now the cutoff for EC go up. I think it's very close to 267. And here also there's almost an 11 mark difference. So I, throughout electronics, I see that Triple E, EC and ENI, they're almost similar. So I would definitely suggest you guys to pick a campus over a branch. If you get into any of the Triple E courses, which is EC, Triple E and ENI, most of the courses are similar. And if you get a better campus, like if, let's say like Goa or Hyderabad or Pilani over Goa, I would prefer that. But then even though I had the opportunity of going to Triple E Pilani, I wanted to go to EC, Goa for obvious reasons. Make it a microphone check, give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't make the make it a microphone dead. Don't stay. But that's up to you, right? I mean, that's your opinion. As a South Indian, I didn't really want to go all the way over to Pilani for four years just to prepare and just to easy your plea. Considering this year in 2024 that NT screwed over a lot of people, especially in terms of percentile, there was some places in some attempts where even though the marks were similar, the percentiles were completely different. So you can expect something extremely different in Bitsat as well because GE, GE cutoffs and Bitsat cutoffs, they are very, very interdependent. So if sometimes Bitsat cutoffs goes up, that's probably because most people, many people prefer Bitsat, getting the bits over something like NITs, top NITs or top IITs. So similarly, you can expect the fact that you can expect bits cutoffs to go up this time as well. So to be on the safer side, try to score at least 15 to 20 marks more of 2023 cutoffs. So what do you mean by that? Let's assume that if you're targeting MSc Bio, try to get something like 230. That's, that's a decent safe score for you guys. And you might think that why is he saying 20 marks more, right? In 2019, I got 340 out of 450. And even then I did not get computer science and bits hyperbolic. And that's because in 2018 or 2017 or 2016, I would have gotten Hyderabad Computer Science. But then in 2019, there was a big change in the cutoff. Like there was a sudden spike in the cutoff. And similarly, there's a lot of stuff which can happen, which are not in your control. So it's better to have a strong buffer in your hand. And if you're getting something like 350 or 390, then you can definitely expect Pilani CS. Here, if you can get 350, it's almost 20 marks more, or 319, that's a great score. And even something like CS in Goa, getting something very close to 320, or 319, it's considered to be a great score. And so, I think, just see the previous year cutoffs, and try to see how much you can score more. And it's generally not a straightforward trend, because there's a lot of factors which are dependent on it, like, the difficulty of the paper, how well you guys are able to manage your time during the paper. And sometimes the paper level in JE means and Bitsat might be almost similar. After talking to so many people from 2023 batch, I realized that Bitsat cutoff has also gone up really high. And even the maths papers of JE mains and Bitsat, they're almost similar these days. So I think it's best if you prepare your all, to prepare everything properly. And make sure to look at these cutoffs, make sure to take a screenshot of this as well because I've mentioned all the cutoffs over here and the cutoff transitions as well. This is going to help you out a lot and I know the video quality is not great because this is in my home, I have, this is my whiteboard generally where I plan out things. 
So if you got to learn something from this today, so make sure to subscribe to this channel and don't not forget to join the community because this is very, very, very important. We've got amazing resources for you, amazing mentors for you, practice papers, questions every day, DPPs, we've got everything for you guys. If you're someone who's extremely hardworking, do consider the community because without that, you don't have anything in your hands. And as someone who has seen close to like five, six batches of Bitsians, I know have a lot of contacts. We can really help you out in the college admissions and in terms of tracking with that as well. So I'll see you guys. I hope that you got something learned in this video. If you did learn something, make sure to subscribe as well. I'll see you guys.